Okay, so I have just completely like assembled this cube and no I'm just kidding. I didn't don't have the core in and I don't have the screws or anything because as I said I need lube and it came with an extra corner which is cool I think yeah so I'm pretty sure this is a 57 millimeter I they might have screwed up my order but yeah well one thing I found pretty cool was which I was trying to time lapse was that on this cap there's the logo right I'm not sure if you can the camera's picking it up but you in the viewfinder I can see the etching of it and it says it has the logo which is yeah okay so this sort of reminds me of Thrust's video on like the prank for 4x4 which is like it falls apart and yeah so I'll probably be adding like what else what my car and assembly in this but yeah so there's a bit of flashing and I feel like there's catching when I rub these two pieces together probably because of the flashing so I'm just gonna take my the knife that I used to unbox it and just sort of sorry cut it off so now it's like less Let's see. Sorry, I didn't focus this. I just like figured out that I didn't. Okay, so now it doesn't feel like it's catching as much. And I feel like it's really smooth. It has a sort of sandy feel, but it's really smooth. And my current main is a Shengshao 3x3 because I don't have very many cubes. But this is going to be my new main, and I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to be using my st the stock stickers or the stock stickers, or if I'm going to be using my cubes with tiles. So I'm going to be showing you the hardware now. So here is a washer, and it looks really thin, and I'm afraid of losing it. So, one moment, here, let's, here, there's the washer and it's really thin and that's the smooth side and then the rough side is that. So, yeah, and I still don't have my lube, it's the same day. No time has passed, I just thought I should probably show the show hardware before like, I actually show you how to lube it, which is basically going to be Crazy Bad Cubers, following ba Crazy Bad Cubers, <clears throat> so yeah, and then here are the springs. So, uh, okay. There's this spring. Wow, this seems like it's pretty stiff. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if I got two or just one kind. And it looks like I got one because I got seven. And, wait, yeah, I got seven. So they're probably all the same. So I'm just fitting that on and that's basically it. Okay, so I'm not where in my garage anymore, but I decided to tighten it and put a screw in the screws and I didn't on camera, but this 
turns really nicely. And I still have it pretty loose. And so that just popped. But so it's really nice. And I think oh, once I do get the lube that I'm getting, the Traxxas that I'm getting, I'm going to be taking the screws out again. But I just wanted to make sure the screw I could screw. So it sounds really sandy and it feels pretty sandy. But I'm going to sticker it after I ten like tighten it, and then I'm going. Well, I'm first going to tighten it, put the caps back on, and then I am going to sticker it. Yeah. Okay, so right now I'm going to be showing you how to completely sticker a fangshi. And I'm going to be using the stock stickers because I just want to see the sticker quality. So first I'm going to start with white. Actually, I'll start, yeah, I'll start with white, then blue, then red, and then I'll go yellow, green, orange. Okay. So, first, what you do is you basically fold it a bit so that you can peel it off with your knife under it and you keep it under like that and you pull it off and then you want to make sure you place it up. exactly where it should go so let me focus So right now I'm placing it right here and let me see. So I like that placing actually no. So if you don't like it don't completely press it down yet just lightly pull it back up and off. And then place it exactly where it should be put. Ah, uh, I don't like that. And this probably isn't my the best tutorial to look on, but just place it where you think looks good. And right now, this is not going well for me. So, yeah. I'm placing it right like that. That looks about good. About right. Yeah. So I have one sticker down. On to the next one. Peel it off. Bring it up. And then just place it on exactly where you want it. So this isn't probably this probably isn't gonna be my best um, tutorial. So I have two of them right wherever I place them. Oh, right here. You can see those white. And sorry about the background noise. My sisters are trying. To, one of my sisters are trying to wake up my other. Yeah. And then just do this for the rest. So I have completely restickered, and this is probably my best 
stickering job because it's my only stickering job. But it's it's go it turns really nicely. And this has no lube in it whatsoever. And the I think I did a pretty good stickering job. I still have I have like a couple air bubbles, but not really noticeable. Like I have a couple there and a couple there, but uh, my other sides are all perfect. So I'm just gonna end this video with a scramble, and this is going to be my second solve that I have done with a fangshi. The first one was with one of my friends, the fangshis. Okay, so inspection. Okay. And I'm not very fast. So I'm I know all the PLLs, but I don't know any like the OLs and I don't know F2L very well, so Okay, so it's kind of uncontrollable for me because it's still pretty loose. Or, well, I guess it's tight, but like, yeah. So I, I've heard a lot of good things about the M sizes, so there's. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. And this is just the first impressions, but I really like this, if you can't tell by how I am reacting to it. And I like it much better than the Zanchi, personally, but yeah. So, that's, this is just my unboxing or assembly, whichever one I'm going to do. So, yeah.